Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Amber, and I am a stay-at-home mom of two kids. I have a little girl who is about to turn five here in a couple of weeks, and my son is 18 months. Today's video is just going to be a sit-down video. As you can tell, I'm just sitting in my backyard so that my kids can play while I'm out here, and I'm just going to be answering some questions for a motherhood tag. My friend Madison here on YouTube actually recommended me to do this because she wanted to hear my answers and get to know me a little better after she had done hers. So I'm just gonna be answering 10 questions for you guys about my journey with mother motherhood. So question number one is how many kids do you have? I kind of already touched on that. I have two kids. I have a little boy and a little girl. Question number two is did you like or dislike pregnancy? My pregnancies were completely different. My first pregnancy with my daughter, I obviously didn't really know what to expect. I was super sick the whole first trimester. I gained a lot of weight. I gained 60 pounds during that pregnancy. I was big everywhere. Everything was swollen and her birthday is in July. So it was really hot towards the end of my pregnancy and I could barely walk or put shoes, even flip flops on my feet because my feet were swollen so bad. I also, that was like, towards the end was like the beginning of me being a stay at home mom. So I slept a lot, woke up, had something to eat, went back to sleep, and so on. And then my second pregnancy went a lot better. I don't know if it was because I already had the responsibilities of having and taking care of one kid, so I couldn't really just stay in bed all day. But I only gained 30 pounds with that one. I felt a lot better. I was mainly belly instead of big everywhere. I was in a lot of pain towards the end, like in the pelvic area, but other than that, it went pretty well. Question number three is what kind of mom are you? So I feel like someone from the outside looking in could explain this better, but in my eyes, I think I am kind of laid back. I kind of just let them be independent and do as they please now that they're to that age. I have never really baby proofed my house. I, I'm just not really worried about it. I'm more strict when we go to other houses because I am not wanting my kids to disrespect their belongings, obviously. I also yell probably more than I would like to, but people tell me when I'm feeling stressed out that I seem calm. So hopefully I'm just not as bad as I think I am. Hi. Hi. Question number four is, do you have any regrets? And I would like to say no. The only thing that I am insecure about, I feel like every mom has the mom guilt. Like you lay down at night and you're like, what could I have done better? Um, how could I, I have spent better quality time with my kids? But other than that, I don't have regrets. Question number five is, What is the hardest part about being a mom? And my answer is a lot like Madison's on this one. I think it's the anxiety. Sitting there and always worrying about what you can do the best. You're always worried about their health, their well-being, if they're happy, if everything's going the best way that it could. Thank you, baby. And then also if you have multiple kids, it's hard feeling guilty that you might be giving one more attention than the other or spending more time with one than the other. Question number six is what surprises you most about being a mom? And I feel like motherhood just came naturally. You learn as you go. You don't know anything. There's no book written out with rules and stuff. So you really just find things out as you live, learn as you go. 
Question number seven is, what is your favorite stage? So, like, newborn, infant, toddler, preschool age. So, my daughter is about to go into kindergarten. So, I have gone through all those stages. And I honestly feel like there is pros and cons to each stage. So, I love the newborn stage, obviously, because they just snuggle. And all you have to do is well, feed and change the them but they can be very needy, cry a lot, depends on your kid and their level of needy, but you're just needed 24 seven, which is really good and makes you feel really good that someone needs you. And also can be frustrating sometimes because every once in a while you would like to take a shower by yourself for five seconds or something like that. I love the infant stage because they are accomplishing so many things. They hit so many milestones, but it's also sad because they're not newborns anymore, obviously, and they grow so fast and things just happen so fast. I love toddlers because you just see them learning how to walk, how to talk. They can start telling you that they love you. They start cuddling really good. But then it's also good because they start getting a little bit of independence and you don't have to, well, you have to keep your eye on them, but they can like play independently and things like that. Question number eight is what qualities of yours do your kids have? My kids are really both more like my husband than they are like me, but Brinley definitely has my attitude and it's aggravating. And people always tell you if you're a woman, you'll get it back if you have a daughter, and that's true. Um, they're both really sweet and caring. They're both compassionate. Brinley has my feet. Bobby has my body shape. Brinley cares about others, and she's a good friend. She steps up and takes care of her brother. She's a good sister. Question number nine is, what is a perfect day with your kids? So I was thinking a little bit about this one earlier and I just feel like every day that I can see them smile and laugh is good. But we really enjoy being outside together as a family and doing outdoor activities because we all like being outside and they have more freedom so they're happier. They both love to explore and so do me and my husband. We all like to go fishing together. So really just anything outside. And it doesn't even have to be summer. We like going to festivals, hay rides, things in the fall. We like, we just like being outside all together. They're flowers. Thank you. You're welcome. And question number 10, the last one is, what advice would you give to a first time mom? And I guess my advice would be to do what you want and don't worry about everyone else's advice, so don't you don't even have to listen to this. If you have a bad gut feeling about something having to do with your kid, go get them checked out or do some research, but not too much to where you're going to freak yourself out. But definitely trust your gut. You know best for your child, and you know them better than anyone else. So you don't want to go doing what everybody else is doing or what everybody else says and get to know them for the person they are. Everybody's different, just like adults, everyone's different. Every kid is different also, so don't compare your kid to everyone else's kids and don't try to make sure that they hit milestones at the same time that your friend's kid is hitting milestones because like I said, every kid is different. And just trust yourself because if you weren't made to be a mom, then you wouldn't have blessed, been blessed to be a mom. But that wraps up the motherhood tag. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this sitting down because I think this is the first one I've done in this style. 
If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to see more videos of mine. Thank you guys.